Hey guys, welcome to Sarah's Jewelry Studio. So today we're going to be doing the uh, finished jewelry video for the April uh, 2023 Potomac Beads. And this was the treasure subscription. So this was called Blooming into Spring. So I did the unboxing video. So now I'm going to show you all the stuff that I made out of that stuff. So this was all the different uh, pops of greens and bold colors and all this good stuff. So. Let me show you what all I made, so stay tuned. Alright, so we're gonna do this I'm gonna do this finished jewelry video a little different. So normally I have it aimed down, but this time we're gonna try and do something different and hold things up so you can see them up instead. So we're just gonna see how this works out. So I actually made a bunch of earrings using there was a um, like a bead mix in this bit in this box so I um, I did use that um, what was that called that was called the check glass shapes mix so it was a bunch of shapes so I made a bunch of earrings using those pieces that came in that mix so these are the check glass tiles and then these clear beads came in that mix and then I just have some of these clear beads. You can see they're a little faceted. They're kind of like frosted. So they also came in there. So I made these. And these are on some bronze ear wires. So I use bronze head pins and eye pin here in the middle to make two links. So these have lots of movement in there. Alright, so that was the first pair of earrings. And here's another one. And these were using the... Uh, what were these called? They were, were they the check glass table cut diamonds? I believe that's what these were called. And then these little, those like pointy drop things, they were also in the, uh, in that shape mix. So these are just on silver. And then I used eye pins. Well, actually, no, I didn't use eye pins on this. I just used um, a very long, uh, what do you call it? It was a very long eye pin. So it had the one hole at the top, and then when it came out the bottom here, I just hand made these circles, and then just brought it up and wire wrapped it around the top there. So kind of like a like a wrapped loop. So there was those. All right, and then these. These are actually the only things I use these on, so I still have three of these, the circles left. That was these here. So I still have three of those left. I didn't finish using them. I was going to make another pair of earrings, but I didn't want to just have one left. So for now, I'm just going to hang on to those. So I just kind of used, so this is like a rose gold, um, like an eye pin. So I just went through the circle, used some of the beads that were in that, that mix, and then I just made a shape down at the bottom there. There you go. I was going to say they're about the same size, but the video, the camera was making it look not so much, but they are the same size. Alright, so there are those. And then we got the flowers, so there was a lot of flowers in there. So again, I just used the items that came in that mix. I'm just kind of make some cute little earrings. Sorry, I'm trying to show you the tops there so you can see the little flowers. Alright, I don't know if this plan's gonna gonna work of doing it of holding the, the, the phone up to, to look at the video, but we're, we're gonna go with it for this one just to kind of see how it goes. And then another one with the flowers. So I just did two color flowers stacked on this one. Okay. And then <clears throat> here's another one where I just made a shape using the, I can use the really long eye pin. And then I just made, I just loaded three of the flowers on there. Oh, actually these are two flowers and then I had these round discs in that shape mix in the red. So I just loaded those right on there. Alright, and then I did make a second pair of earrings using those check tile uh, beads. And then these, so I had these funky green, uh, they, they actually spin quite easily on here. 
Um, but they're really long, and I wasn't sure what else to do with them, and I, so I really liked making them into these earrings. And there it goes. Oh, and then I used some of these uh, green faceted beads at the top there that we got. Trying to do a way where you can see them a little better. I guess like right there. It's about as good as it's going to get. Alright, and then I have one more pair of earrings here. So I did make a lot of earrings out of these. And again, these are just more of those flowers. And you can see that I just, again, put them onto some wire. Um, again, some long eye pins. And then just kind of looped it around. So kind of the same way I did the other ones. And just put four of the flower beads on there. Alright, so I didn't use everything that was in. So I did not use these. I was going to use these. But then, I really like these because they're such good quality, so I really want to use the loom, and I wanted to do that with this, but then I decided that this wasn't really enough of one to do a loom, so maybe in a future box, if I get more of the same kind of size and brand that I can do a loom with and have multiple colors to, to mix together. Um, so instead of using these CDs, I grabbed these from my own collection to use in place of these, where I would have used these. All right, and then also I didn't use these button shanks. Um, so I didn't exactly, I, I wasn't, uh, I don't know, I guess I wasn't inspired um, with anything else in this box to use these with. So I'm gonna save these and see maybe what's in the next box, which I'm about to do the unboxing of that one. And maybe I'll use these with that, but I'm definitely going to use these in a future box from, you know, this, the same subscription. So I'm going to hang on to these and these, and then I'm going to see if I can use those with a future item or a future box. Um, and then in this, we also got the, um, the elastic, which I did use to make bracelets with. So I'm going to show you those, but I do still have a good bit of remaining of this. So I was actually, I really like the amount that we got in this. And then this month, if you remember, the tool was the tape measure. So I did make good handy use of this. And this is going to go right in the top of my little tray right there. So I can have that as a tool. All right. So how many? So what did I, get? I had four, eight pairs of earrings. So beyond that, I still have, let's see, uh, four necklaces and three bracelets. All right. So... This is the only bracelet that doesn't really have a match, so I'm going to show you this. So this is what I did with the rest of those, um, the crystal, or not crystal, but the shapes, check glass, that's what it was, right, check glass shapes mix. So I kind of like color blocked it out, so I did all the yellow ones together, and then all the red and orange ones together, and then like the lighter kind of frosted colors together. So I just make, oh, and I had this one fun little like half moon shape in there so I just thought it would be fun it was nice and springy lots of fun spring colors so I just made a little memory wire bracelet in these fun spring colors so I just I think it's so different I wouldn't normally put something like this together but once I saw you know what colors we had left and you know like I said that I could kind of color block it like that I thought that turned out really cute so, like I said, nice, fun spring colors. So, I'm wearing some red. I put the red part on top. Or just anything. So, there you go. Just a fun little kind of color blocked uh, memory wire bracelet. Alright, so there's that. And then the other two bracelets actually go with necklaces that I made. So, I'm going to show you the one the necklace I made that doesn't go with anything. So, this is actually a two-strand so these use all the little drops. So we got these drops in the mix. And I think we also got some, we did. We got the check glass drop matte color mix. And then did we get other drops outside of that also? I don't know if we did or if they all just came in here. I might have separated them and then I thought they came in two different things. But anyway, so when I made this, I, I feel like I made, I tightened the this is a beading wire in here so I feel like I tightened it up a little too much so I'm debating on actually because um, I made this to be kind of like a choker 
uh, just to get these little drops to kind of sit right but I feel like I just made it too tight so I think I'm gonna take this off I just did like wire loop on there and then I just looped it at the end like pushed it up through and then just looped it at the end but I'm thinking about undoing this and kind of taking some of these beads off and loosening this up a little bit because it's just very tight so they don't they, like if you see they stay in place of where they're moved to so like here so I'm gonna thinking about doing that just to kind of loosen it up a little bit so this bottom one is not as tight but it's this middle one I made a little too tight and then I could just add some more chain on there to give it more length so so I'm thinking about doing that so there is this necklace here and you can see it goes on nice and easily so if you're instead of doing a try on at the end I'll just try it on as I'm doing it as I'm showing you so see how these like they kind of stick right up it's a, it's like they're just too tight on the on the beading wire itself so so then I had these two like yellow like dagger drops so I just put those on there um, right in the middle and then I had these kind of other pale yellow drops Let me up so you can see a little bit closer up so you can see how everything just kind of it sticks up a little bit so that's what I said I think I'm gonna loosen it up I think I just had the the wire too tight so and I have one CB between each maybe two might have been better or did I do two I'm going to take it off and look at it, but I think I did one between each. Sorry if that was a little too wiggly. Alright, and then, um, anyway, so I'm going to rework this one, but I wanted to leave it the way it was to show you guys so we can kind of see, you know, we don't always get it right on the first try, and that's okay. So, it's okay to do a little trial and error. So there's that. So yeah, I did. I did do more than one see bead around the back part of this oh on the back section which I think is why those kind of flow a little better they're still a little tight too um, but these I only did one between each of them and I think it's just the uh, the wires just too tight all right anyway so there is that one okay so I'm going to show you the bracelet next of uh, this next set it's a bracelet and uh, and necklace that match and so you can see I used the pearls with the bead caps on there. Can you see that? And then, um, so I got one bead cap here and one bead cap here. I used the last of what was in the, what I had left of those. And then these are the blue with the, uh, the bicones, the clear bicones. And then I added uh, from my collection so it's on memory wire but I also added a magnetic clasp so that way once you put it on it, since it only goes around one time then it clasps right there and then it's kind of like a bangle so it just fits a little bit loose and then like I said that memory the magnetic clasp keeps it right on there so it's very nice lightweight and then the the magnetic clasp keeps it together so so there is that and then the matching necklace which is also on magnetic matching clasp and so this is also the same as the pearl with the blue with the the oh what do you call those I lost it <laughs> bead caps jeez I'm losing it all right so it has the bead caps around the little pearls these are the little four millimeter pearls and then it has the blue bicones, the smaller blue bicones in the middle there. And then these bigger blue bicones, I believe those came in the, the color mix, the shapes mix. I'm pretty sure that's where I got those from. So you can see this is very nice length. And then, like I said, on here I did the clear um, with the pearls in the middle just to kind of color block that out but then on the necklace I didn't do that I just did the pattern all the way around with the pearl and then the blue so I think it actually I think that looks really cool looking so and then with it being magnetic you can just kind of take it off really easily so all right so there is that one and then oh 
Oh, I actually, did I say four? I said four necklaces. So this is a stretch necklace. So this has another one of these diamond cut, uh, check class table cut diamonds. That's what it was called. So there's that. And then this has some of these, um, the, oh, what were these called? Faceted, they call faceted rounds. Is that what they called them? I think that's what they call them. I don't know, they, they make me think of like what I always think of as a fire polish kind of shape. But obviously these aren't fire polished. And then more of these, the green ones that I was telling you about earlier. And then this is just a stretch necklace using the stretch material that they sent in the box. And I have one more of these that had an, an in, uneven amount so I couldn't make it symmetrical. So I just put that right at the very back of the necklace. And then the design just go like this. So just like a stretch bracelet, but it's a stretch necklace. And then I have this right there in the center like that. So I think that actually is really cute looking. So I like that nice little pop of green. All right, and then actually I'm gonna leave that on because the next necklace that I'm gonna show you, um, they can actually stack up. So this is the rest of the, the tile beads, the check glass tile beads. And then this has the what was that called? Organic, the organic disc, check glass or organic disc in the middle of there. And then you can see I just used two eye pins and just went and bent it down and around the center disc. So this actually spins and then you can see it's just shaped to go down and around and then through the organic disc. And then an another one of these green tile, oh, so I guess I did make the earrings to match this one of those long green beads that I showed you that were on here. So there's that. And then I just put some chain on here with a lobster claw clasp. And then, so when you put it on like this, I kinda made them so that they would be able to sit with each other. Oh no, it doesn't want, there we go. There. So anyway, so there is that. So lots of green going on here. All right, it's like not cooperating with me now. There we go. All right, so yeah, so there you go. So lots of green. You should probably want to wear this with something green that might be a little too much green. <laughs> but it'd be really cute with something neutral or white or anything like that so there you go so that was all of the jewelry that i made i showed you the things i didn't use yeah so there you go and i showed you wearing everything except for the earrings i'm not going to put those on um but yeah so and then again these were the match oh no oh, wrong ones these were the matching ones <laughs> so yeah so that'd be very matchy matchy all right, you guys, so let me know if you like this format where I'm facing the camera um, as opposed to with the, the camera facing down and looking at the jewelry that way. I just figured this way you would see kind of more how it, how it hangs and then instead of like recording everything and then showing at the end how it all looks on that I could just do it at the same time. So let me know what you think about that. Thanks for watching and let me know what your favorite piece is and I will see you on the next video. See ya.